Okay, I'm here to comment on this uh, ridiculously good side build from my clan member Baby Alien. Now, this isn't my build, so what I say could be incorrect. So please point out my mistakes if you see any. Now we have uh, Baby Alien building one uh, land factory, two power generators, two mechs, and he has his first engineer coming out of that land factory to produce the hydropower. And after his commander completes the uh, two mechs. It's going to send them, send them to assist on the hydropower. You have the two engineers coming out of that land factory next to build the mech spots around the base. And the next two as well. After the hydropower is completed, the uh, commander is going to build the air factory and some power. And from that air factory, you're going to build transports and he has the next two engineers to build six land factories. As you can see here that uh, this is definitely some kind of all in build because you're building like air factories and land factories so early and you're producing transports which means that you know you're dropping. Uh, so right here you can see that uh, he's building nothing but artillery units from these uh, land factories. Um, the first drop is going to begin very soon because he already has one transport ready. As soon as he gets uh, eight artillery units, he's going to send them straight to uh, the back of the uh, front men's base to basically screw their economy. So um, the drop begins around like four minute mark. So that's pretty, pretty good because, you know, like around four minutes, usually people don't even have air units. And his second drop continues like right away. And it's going to send them to the, uh, the mountain side. And he will just like pr pretty much continuously drop uh, the enemy from like all directions, like taking out all their mass and energy. Uh, but you know this build is pretty risky, in the sense that you know if they scout you early and find out that you're doing this uh, all-in kind of thing, they could prepare for your drops with interceptor spamming. They will probably like dampen the effectiveness effectiveness of your build but they won't be able to completely halt your drops unless like every one of their side spam tons of interceptors. Okay, so um, basically like you don't have to upgrade any mexes for this kind of build until later on because you want to like really just like fuck up their economy really really bad in the early game that it will take them like 10 minutes to come back basically. Uh, that's the key to this build because like you're trading your own economy like to screw all of their economy so it's a really really good uh, trade-off because it will give your allies tons of time and freedom to do whatever they want uh, they could you know get t3 air they could get like navy even so it's a really really good thing so right here you can see that uh, one thing to note for these uh, Sarah artillery units is that they can be uh, hovered so you can like drop them on the water to take out their naval factories. So right here that uh, baby alien has around like two T2 mexes and he's continuing upgrading these uh, mexes along with the drops and he has already tagged his commander to T2 and it's going to build some like T2 power. Um, so right here you can see that uh, like the beach is basically screwed because like he has no defense, no T1 defense. Uh, he was teching the whole time and he has not expected this kind of thing. Like usually for players like that do drops, they only drop like once and they will go back to their teching or whatever. But this is really unexpected because he just keeps dropping and dropping. So unless they build some kind of defense, they eventually get screwed. So uh, he dropped like the front, he dropped like the rear, he dropped like, you know, everywhere. So uh, you can see how, you can see here there's like eight drop shifts going. Uh, so eight times like eight, that's like 64 artillery units. You know, that's pretty scary. Uh, these artillery units can like easily take out the commander if the commander doesn't have like defense. So, uh, you know, like this game is pretty much over. <laughs> because uh, they fail to act like according to the situation. And white here for some reason is like building all these land factories. I'm not really sure why. Uh, because you know, according to the situation, you want to trace the source back to its root, right? So you want to like build some interceptors to 
you know, go around baby alien space to prevent him from like dropping everywhere, not like building T1 units because uh, these are really like immobile. You want to build like defense and stuff, like with longer longer range to counter the artillery artillery's range. So uh, the two players here are just like um, they 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 just died because they're pretty dumb. They they didn't do anything good. And wide here is pretty stupid as well. Like he builds like 20 factories for I don't know what reason. So this next drop is basically gonna like totally fuck up uh, white because he has around like uh, I'm not really sure how many because that looks like a lot of drops uh, probably around like 12 yeah something like that so that's a lot and he's still building more like he doesn't stop so <laughs> unless they have like uh, tons of air or air defense at least like they're not gonna be able to do anything versus this kind of drops and I'm not really sure, but Y has produced like tons of artillery units as well. But being Aeon, that's kind of useless because it doesn't have the uh, area, area of effect on damage as the Sarah does. So like basically his um, factories are just getting old. And, uh, and now uh, his ally has like uh, strap bombers. And uh, the commanders are like wandering along for some reason. Yeah, so uh, the commanders can just die. <laughs> without any like air support because uh, the early drops really hindered their ability to to eco. Yeah, so um, this build is really, really good. And uh, if you're gonna use it, uh, do it at your own discretion because it's, it's very, very powerful, but very risky at the same time. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoy this commentary.